you've probably heard of Mount Vesuvius, the volcano that buried Pompeii. But what if I told you there's another, much larger volcanic system right next door that's showing signs of waking up? Meet Campi Flegra, or the Phlegrian Fields, a sprawling supervolcano just west of Naples, Italy. This isn't your typical con-shaped mountain. It's a massive, sunken caldera, home to about half a million people. And recently, it's been getting a little restless. For the past few decades, Campi Flegra has been experiencing something called bredicism. That's a fancy word for the ground, slowly rising and falling. Kind of like the area is breathing. This is caused by magma and volcanic gases moving around deep beneath the surface. Along with this ground uplift, the region has been hit by thousands of small earthquakes, putting local residents on edge and making scientists pay very close attention. So, the big question is, is this the prelude to a massive eruption? Well, it's complicated. The last major eruption at Campi Flegre was in 1538, which created a whole new mountain called Monte Nuovo. Before that, about 39,000 years ago, it produced a colossal super eruption that was one of the largest in European history, affecting the climate across the continent. Scientists are constantly monitoring every tremor and every millimeter of ground movement. They believe the current activity is more likely due to a buildup of volcanic gases rather than magma moving towards the surface for a big event. This doesn't mean there's no risk. Even a smaller eruption could have serious consequences for the densely populated area. The Italian government and local authorities have detailed evacuation plans in place, classifying a series of alert levels from green to red. For now, the alert level remains at yellow, which means attention, while a Vesuvius-level catastrophe isn't considered imminent. The situation at Campi Flegre is a powerful reminder of the immense power simmering just beneath our feet. So, is it the next Vesuvius? Hopefully not, but it's definitely a volcano we need to keep a very close eye on. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more Science Explained.